Hey, hey, money, 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 money. Why are we talking about money today? Because we are at the National Taxation Bureau of Taipei. It is the Taipei the Guo Sui Ju. And we are here for another edition of English Break as we examine how bilingual Taiwan is. Brought to you by the National Development Council and ICRT as we march towards a bilingual nation 2030. 台湾的这些场所，他们的双语能力到底有多强？我们呢也是一起努力，跟我们国发会呢，希望能创造一个更双语的环境给台湾。So this location we're at is actually a location where foreigners will come because they have a counter that is specific for foreign uh, taxpayers right here. So if you have any questions, uh, if you need any help in filing taxes, they have a lot of. Uh, uh, professional staff members here for foreigners uh, to help you out. So follow me today as we examine how bilingual they are and of course later on we're gonna have a special guest from ICRT to actually go in and do some business. Who is it gonna be? Well you'll find out in a minute. But please follow me right now as we get our tax refund or maybe you have to pa pay your taxes, I don't know, just follow me right now. All right, we're inside the National Taxation Bureau in Taipei right now, and as you can see, we're at the front in the lobby, and uh, we're welcomed by the sign right here. Just our Taizenbu Taipei Guo Sui Ju, okay? National Taxation Bureau of Taipei from the Ministry of Finance, and uh, I gotta, I gotta say, man, the slogan that they have right here is exactly how I feel about the Taxation Bureau here in Taiwan because I've been in Taiwan for 23 years, and in the beginning, I was also a foreigner. It wasn't until a few years ago that I became a Taiwan resident. And uh, every time I come here to file my taxes, I feel I'm greeted by a lot of smiles. Uh, they're very helpful in, in going through my uh, tax reports, making sure that I get the amount of refund that I, that I have, actually. So they're always offering service with sincerity, that's for sure. Gaining trust with expertise, absolutely. And enhancing efficiency with innovation. 这三句话说得非常好 I give him a five, man. Not only the wording is right, but the content is really the way they carry out their attitude right here, okay? Oh, 这边是有不只是外侨的服务,还有这个遗产税收件柜台。如果你有得到遗产,来这边就可以来询问一下了哦. Estate tax filing counter. Okay, that's correct. For foreigners in Taiwan, you got Wai Chao Fu Tai Foreign Taxpayer Service Counter. Okay, there's no problem with that. And for any tax payments, you can do it right here. There's an ATM as well. Okay, so this signage gets a five point for sure. Now, the 所以呢,虽然是给本国人,但是上面还是有双语的这个标示哦。专业咨询柜台, professional consultant counter, as we saw earlier, general service counter is all here. They're all here behind me, we talked about it earlier, the estate tax filing counter is behind me, the gift tax filing counter is behind me, so all of this, another five points for sure. 好几年前,我还 是外国人的时候，因为我拿的是美国护照，然后我有外侨居留证，就是我记得那时候就是坐在这边，然后呢，他们可能还会有工作人员过来，就在这边帮忙我fill out these forms right here. So let's take a look. 其实这个好像越来越多人不知道这个长得什么样子了，因为很多人我刚刚讲了，都是用网络上面来报税了哦。不过网络上面的那个城市，其实里面的那个。呃，这些这些栏位啊，其实都一样。OK，可能只是分很多页面那样子，或者是在一张有正面跟背面，密密麻麻的。But okay, if you take a close look，如果我们进来看的话，它的确是非常非常明了的。OK，上面该填的资讯，你的 
first name last name 这当然很简单。到后面这边有很多跟 tax 有关的一些一些 vocabulary 一些 terminology 也都非常非常的准确哦。你的 gross income 减掉你的 exemption 减掉你的 deduction 减掉你的 basic living expense difference。blah blah 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 blah， 这些呢，就到最后呢，就是要看你到底今年是要缴税呢，还是你要退税呢 ？OK， 这个其实我们不可能一一的去呃检视，但是我已经用过了。This is already a five in my mind. I know it for sure. All right. Well, today we're gonna have a special guest from ICRT to actually do business right here and ask real questions. Uh, and get involved with their staff members and see how bilingual they are. We'll meet each other and talk about. Go with me, Laba. Trevor. Whoa! Hi. <laughs> What's up, Joseph? <laughs> You're here already. Yeah. This is our a... special guest is Trevor. You know what? I've been practicing how to say your last name. Tordemasi. Tordemasi. Okay. 大家练习一下他的姓 Okay. It is Trevor Tordemasi today here. At the tax bureau, and you're gonna do some business here today, huh? Yeah, this is a lot to handle, man. It is. I've I've been here before. I've been in Taiwan for a while, and okay. I've been here before. But like, this is a look at how big this paper. I is. know, I know. It's a lot of information, and like I said earlier, it is very clear, right? Actually, 里面都很明了 But there's got to be questions that you still have. Lots of questions. And so you've been here before, you said. Mm-hmm. So you know, you know how friendly they are and how helpful they yeah, are. Yeah, you think they can help? I think they can help for sure. All right, let's go see. Let's so go you got to special them. questions for them today, right? Yeah, I've got a few questions about taxes, how much you can deduct, when, what dates. Maybe you can pretend so, you're leaving Taiwan and see, you know, how you can file your taxes. Yeah. Maybe things like that, right? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Okay. Let's have Trevor go in and try it out. All, All right. right. Let's go. Hello. Yes. Hi, I'm here to pay my taxes. I know it's not filing season, but mm -hmm. um, can you can you help me? I'm still a little bit confused. Sure, no problem. Uh, it's your first time file tax return in Taiwan. Uh, it's yes, my that's my first time this year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, your ARC. Let me my check ARC. Your yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Sorry. Okay. Let me check. Hmm. It seems till now you didn't file tax return for last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, 2019 income tax. So right now you need to pay tax. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just wait a minute. Let me show you the form. Uh, you just fill in on the column. I already checked for you. Okay. And I will check your personal information. Why you are filling the column? Okay. Thank you. Here is your signature. Today's day. Uh, it's uh, October something. 14th. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, October 14th. Your name in print and your ARC number. Please fill in by now. Okay, thank and you. Let me check your information. Okay, you will have a tax refund. It's around seven thousand something. Okay, great. And uh, actually, because you are left filing right now, mm -hmm. so there is the only way to get your refund. We will issue refund check. Refund check will be ready in four months. You have okay. two ways to pick up your refund check. One, you come here to pick up refund check in person, mm -hmm. or we can mail check to you. Okay. Exactly. Now, if I'm leaving next year in January, can I still pick it up? Uh, can you mail it to me? No. Okay. Actually, the refund check is uh, denominated in Taiwan dollars. Oh, Even okay. I sent to you overseas, it's useless for you. Okay. So I would suggest you because uh, if you are ready in four months, uh, at that time you mm -hmm. are not in Taiwan. So you must ask your friend to pick up refund check on your behalf. Okay. So authorize your friend to pick up the refund check for you. You need to 
some of these uh, plastic statements. It should be original, complete plastic statement. For example, yeah, mm -hmm. just have a look first. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, okay bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Trevor and I are now going to go upstairs and we're going to be talking to more of their uh, employees right here, including the Director General of the uh, Tax Bureau here in Taipei. And she's going to answer more questions mm -hmm. about uh, foreigners living in Taiwan for a period of time or less than a period of time and what they need to do. Yeah, so a gonna, lot of specifics. Exactly. We're going to find out more information, okay? Right. So, we're going to go to the next level. Again, we're part of English Break. I am Joseph Lin, and here, of course, we got Trevor. Hello. <laughs> and we got our special guest. It's such an honor to invite her to our English Break segment right here. She is the Director General of the National Taxation Bureau of Taipei. Please welcome Song Xiuling, Song Zhizang. Hi, Joseph. Hello. Hi, Trevor. I want to ask uh, our director here about certain situations because there are a lot of different types of mm -hmm. people in Taiwan. Yes. Of course, People like Trevor and I, uh -huh. we've been here for more than a decade. I've been here for 23 years. Oh. And so we're pretty much treated like locals and we have our ARCs and, and oh, whatnot. Okay. Okay. But there might be a lot of, uh, or a, bunch, a group of foreigners in Taiwan uh -huh. that only is here for a short term. And maybe their employer is abroad. Yeah. They're only here for, let's say, just a month or two months. Okay. Uh, or maybe longer. I mean, mm -hmm. do they still have to pay taxes in Taiwan? Oh. I may explain a little bit about okay. this, this case. Mm -hmm. For such foreign taxpayer, he needs to file okay. his tax income tax okay. in Taiwan uh, for the salary received from the uh, the Company. employer uh -huh. abroad. Abroad, okay. okay. To compute his income tax liability, he needs to provide the salary uh -huh. statement okay. certified by a foreign local CPA All right. or a notary public. All right. So is there a, uh, a period of time uh, or a length of time that they, oh, okay. they need to watch out before mm. they need to file or not need to file? I it's mean, yeah, it's quite critical. Right. If he stays, he worked in Taiwan for more than 90 days okay. and he received the salary from the foreign employer, okay. even though the salary is paid in the United States for okay, just for, for example, example right. just for example, yeah. he also needs to file individual income tax in Taiwan. Okay. So mm -hmm. filing is a must because you need to let people know this is what I did. Yes. Whether it's ninety days yes. or more or less. Yes. But if that person worked less than ninety days, mm -hmm. okay, that's fine. There's no problem. There, there's no need to uh, uh, pay taxes. They still need to file, yes. but no need to pay taxes. No. I, I may explain okay. a, a little bit. Okay. Okay, if these people work in Taiwan, mm -hmm. we say not up to 90 days, yep. and the salary is paid by the foreign employer. Okay. In this case, we will not consider the salary as Taiwan source income. Uh. So he doesn't need to pay any tax in Taiwan. Right. Okay. So even filing. That is 90 yes. days or less. Yes. But if but there's 90 days or more, more then you file. got to file. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay, so, so that's a very special case we're talking about, right? Working 90 days or so and mm -hmm. having your income from, from a foreign source. But I think in most cases, like Trevor and I, we've been here for more than a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have our ARCs, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I know there's a rule where, you know, if you stay more than 183 or more days, Mm -hmm. then you have to pay, file your taxes the same way as locals. And do foreigners pay the same tax bracket rate? I get that question a lot. Uh, I think some people think that foreigners should be taxed more. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> there's that, there's okay, that myth, you know. Your, I understand, totally understand your question. Uh -huh. So if a foreigner mm -hmm. stay in Taiwan yeah. for one, 183 days or, or more, more yes. in a calendar year, mm -hmm. we will consider him or her mm -hmm. as our tax residents. Okay. In such case, he need to pay the same tax. You okay. only need to pay the same tax as our locals. It is the same, right? Yes. Exactly the same. The same tax rates, for example, from 5 to 40%. Right. 
Yeah, Depending so on your income, of course, you have brackets. different brackets. So you know that's a myth, right? And I think I think people say that is because I think a lot of foreigners here in Taiwan they get taxed, uh, or, or they, uh, they their tax that they need to pay gets uh, locked up. Mm -hmm. Up front, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they they kind of yes. pay a little bit more tax in the beginning, yes. but when they file their taxes, mm -hmm. it's actually the same rate. Because we have a different with the holding tax rate. They hold the foreigners' taxes a little bit higher, and yes. then they get the refund later. Yeah, but just again, in case maybe in case. you need to file, exactly. pay more tax. In case. So we we rather withhold a higher tax. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, then what about uh, filing for the dependents, for instance? Let's mm -hmm. say, let's say Trevor, you know, you, your dad depends on you and mm -hmm. he's in the United States. He's back in the U.S. I'm here working. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Can, can he claim his dad as a dependent, even though his dad is not a Taiwan resident? Okay. I think Trevor, Trevor, you are yeah. tax residents, right, in mm -hmm. Taiwan. Okay. In this case, he can claim dependents deductions oh. because he needs to file income tax return in Taiwan. Right. So those tax regulations applicable to tax residents yeah. are also applicable to you. I, I, I never knew that. I thought that was, that's going to be a, a far-fetched question. Like, you know, if you got a dependent in the States, mm -hmm. we have no, uh, we, we don't have the ability to trace it, but as long as he can prove Mm -hmm. That this person is a dependent, and there are people from all over the world with dependents, and back in all kinds of other countries. So it's good; mm -hmm, it helps mm -hmm, them mm -hmm. too. Okay. But he needs, uh, you need to provide mm -hmm. the required documents to of prove course. your. Okay. Not uh, just a Skype call with my dad office. in the tax office. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to, I have and to show a picture. This is my dad. <laughs> so can I claim? <laughs> it's, 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 it's not so easy. In fact, I have three dads. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. But with the right document, of course, you can file them. Yes, yes. Okay, that's great to know. And that's another mm -hmm. benefit for foreigners here in mm -hmm. Taiwan. Thank you so much for your time, Director General. Thank well, you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Again, you. we're talking to Song Shouling right thank here. You, and uh, we'll see you next time then. Oh, okay. All right? See you. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it is time for English Break Pop Quiz Time. Again, we are here to test their knowledge of English to see how bilingual they are. And we have two staff members of the Tax Bureau here in Taipei. Hello, would Hello. you like to introduce yourselves? Hello, my name is Ken. I'm Claire. Ken and Claire. Yes. Ken, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. So how long have you guys been working here at the Bureau? Uh, so, uh, maybe five or four years. Yes. Four or five years? How about yes. you? A little more. A little bit more? Yeah. Just a Six. little? Yeah. It is a competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the first word is... <laughs> tax. <laughs> tax, what does that mean? Shui. Shui, mei cuo. They work at the tax bureau. We're paying taxes, of course. Okay, this is not the word. That's in the... Okay, second word. Okay, Trevor, second word coming you do here. the honors. Ready? Hey, hey, you're fun. Uh, Tai Shui. Toy, sweet, yeah, a refund, all right? Of course, we're here at the tax bureau, so we're talking about tax refunds, but you know, when, when you go purchase something, they might have a refund uh, program. Anytime you're getting money back, it's a refund, okay? Or, you know, let's say you buy something and it's, it's broken, you take it in, they refund you, basically, okay? It doesn't have to be taxes. Here comes the third word, and it's this. Gross salary. That's right. Gross salary. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Ken, you got it right. Congratulations. All right. All right. The fourth yeah. word. Oh. Okay, here comes our fifth word, and it's... Oh my god, did you really know? <laughs> How do you say this? Deduction. Deduction. Code right. to word. Code to Deduction. Okay, right. sixth word. Next one coming up. Oh. Inheritance. Um, inheritance. 
呃，继承。继承，没错 ，inheritance。And the reason we throw that in there is because there's also something called inheritance tax. Yes. Right.、Mm -hmm. And there's only a certain amount that you can deduct、yes. per year. Yay! Pension. Ah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Pension. 退休金 There you go. Pension. 退休金。没错。我们我啦已经快要到可以有退休金的年龄了。Uh, the next one is. Oh, okay. Audit, audit,审核 To have an audit, right? A company would have、uh, every year have have an,、uh, be be audited and、mm -hmm. stuff like that. So there you go, audit.、Right. Right. This is actually more of a term that is specific here in Taiwan.、Hmm. Like if you take、okay. this word to the United States,、mm -hmm. I don't think they know what it is. I think because we don't have this, but in Taiwan, there's something called. I'm not sure. Okay. Citizen Digital Certificate, 自然人凭证 Wow, Ken is right. Give it up for Ken. <laughs> Finally. All right, final one. Ready?、Uh, this is kind of a tough one. Tough one. Oh. Citizen's pay. Uh. 快点，谁知道？真的假的？资遣费。我是对。Wow, looks like 一二三四五。Five to five. It's so peaceful. They both won today's pop quiz. Congratulations! Give me ten. Japan and Claire. Over the last few months, we went to high-speed rail station. We went to the National Health Insurance Bureau. 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 Uh, we also went to the household registration office, 也就是这个户政事务所，也考验他们的双语能力。啊，好，还有很好玩的。We went to a police station in Xinyi District, 去那个警察局，信义分局，看警察们的英文能力多好那样子。对 ，so and today we're here at the taxation bureau. So it's been a lot of fun, and we actually saw a lot of great uh, achievement and uh, uh, how bilingual we really are. But of course, there's always room for improvement. So keep learning, and thank you for joining us here on English Break. 再次要感谢今天的国税局，然后感谢我们的国发会，感谢大家的收看。My name is Joseph Lin. I'm Trevor Tordemasi. We'll see you next time on English Break. <laughs>